Hello friends, today we are going to demonstrate list view for Windows uh, forms. So let's start the project. I am going to add another project in Windows form folder in Tech and Talk solution that we are using for all our exercises so that you can find all the uh, exercise under a single uh, solution. So let me add a brand new project and this will be windows form application right and the framework will be dotnet framework so let me just add the folder for this one and let me name it image list demo uh, let us just use image list i am removing the demo keyword here right and here we can name our project as image list demo right okay so now you can see that if we can just verify okay so yeah this is a empty form that is created by default by PS Studio. So let me add list view here, drag and drop, quick and simple, like it. And let me add picture box. So idea here is that we will we will uh, you know load our images in this list and as soon as we click the images uh, it will be displayed in this picture box right yeah so this is our list view and this is our uh, picture box and let's get started uh, but let me first and give it a proper name and if i go to properties this is list view let me name it image list All right and let me rename it selected image All right so what we will do we will uh, create a list of images to be load in this list and we for this purpose we will use image list and we will assign that image list to this list view and uh, on selection of the item the selected items image will be load in this image box uh, the sorry the picture box so uh, let's create a load method for that just double click the form it will be add it automatically so the first thing is um, image list and uh, although you guys can drag drop the image list from the list of controls uh, from here but uh, it will be added as a reference at the bottom here and it will not show so it's good practice to create it here uh, it's instance programmatically so images is equal to new image list like this and for the image sizes what we will do is we will use images dot image size is equal to new size and we will give it uh, let's give it size so uh, we want to show uh, the image list uh, and the item in the image list let's say we want to show it in rectangular form so let's give it a width of 130 and the height of 40 right and the next thing is 
uh, we want to load the image from a temporary location image file is equal to image dot from file and let's say the location is my a drive and inside this a drive i have temp table and one dot jpg right like this and i will add this image in my image list and let's say image file and image file will be added into the this image list and next thing would be to give the and what was the name the selected image dot image let's hard code it uh, the over over image file so image file like this and the last thing what we need is yeah let's just uh, dry run this okay so you can see we have in list view empty and the uh, picture box has the selected image here so what has happened is we have loaded the image file we have assigned that image file to our picture box right here and we have the image added into image list but we haven't assigned this image list to this list view so next thing would be to image list dot um, let's say it has two properties one is large image list one is small image list let's use the large image list is equal to let's uh, assign the above images to it so that we have the image list uh, with available images and uh, only the images will not show if i can just rerun this you can see the images are not loaded because this list view needs an item to be shown so next thing is to add item as well list dot items dot add and we will add new item new list view item and this would be um, the name uh, let's say the title let's say it's our first image and the second param will be the image from that image list so in me sorry the second parameter would be the index uh, yeah i think that would be the index from that list of images so what it means is that we need to add a list view item which should be have the title of first image and the image assigned to this item should be the first item in the array of images which is uh, this one so let's try it okay so uh, now guys you can see that we have the list view loaded with image list and we have the selected image here so let let's just make it more dynamic so that we have a selected images here and as soon as we click any item from this list this picture box should be changed accordingly right so let's modify our code accordingly 
and see how it looks so guys uh, let's see how we can load the list of images inside that that list view so for that let's first create a private list of images and let's name it loaded images and it's a property so let's load these images from the location we have uh, here so let's create a private method here load images from folder and inside it let me add a index is equal to uh, one right and let me use while loop index is less than 10 start iterating so in this iteration what we will do we will use uh, this set of code but uh, before that we let's use string uh, for uh, let's create a dynamic string for the path of the image so let's uh, name it temp location is equal to and we are going to use um, string interpolation so that we can uh, get rid of the concatenation thing so we have images at this location now and index right and let me close this one and we also need to give the uh, at the red sign for these uh, you know characters escape characters so this is how we can create dynamic string uh, the normal and uh, bad way is to concatenate the string like this right which is a dirty way of doing this so let's get rid of this and this is a new feature in c sharp so we can prepare prepare our strings dynamically like this using string interpolation so next thing is to load that image what temp image is equal to image dot from file and let me this temp location to this method and let's add now this image into our loaded image list okay so now our uh, list has been prepared to this method and what we will do we will record it at the top of uh, those th uh, that code so that as soon as form is loaded we first initiate our list of images like this okay let me comment it uh, loading images from folder all right so uh, what is the next thing to do so the next thing would be like uh, we have the list of images here now we need to add these images into image list 
so for that purpose we need to initiate over this list this is right let me add a command initializing image list right and next thing what we want is to set the size of the items of this image that's correct and this piece has already been uh, automated under this method which has been called at the top so yeah what about the uh, let me comment out this line for the timing and uh, let's decide how to load images inside the image list from that uh, list here so let's just iterate those images from image list um, from those loaded images and let's move this line inside this forage and we need to replace this with image and now our image list has been loaded with the uh, physical images which has been loaded in our loaded images so next thing will be to okay so now the image list the list view how we can assign these images to the list view we can just do that just uh, with this single line Set, setting our list view with the image list all right and what next we want is to add these uh, images uh, as an list view item because if we haven't uh, added these list items in that list these image wo images won't be shown it would show the uh, uh, empty list view so it is saying that we have an error which is okay guys uh, we did a mistake we haven't append the extension of the image which is the png let me now control f5 so it's still saying that there is an issue okay so what could be the issue all right uh, you can see that we have added a a property but we haven't initialized this one so object reference could be the issue so let's try by loaded images is equal to new list of image now it should work fine Okay, let's see what it is saying so it's stuck so I think what it is causing uh, the issue is I am I forgot to increment that index So that our while loop stops so it was uh, running uh, infinitely and memory get uh, you know the system was getting out of memory if I load this now you can see that nice and it's working no issues no errors so let's construct over this view like this and for this construction let me use for loop um, item index is equal to zero 
let me add this as one and item index it should be less than the uh, loaded images dot count less than equal to in fact the item index should be plus plus incremented and let's wrap this line inside this for loop and in this what are we doing is we are adding the list item view in image list items and we are um, giving it data dynamically so oops sqlr updater so uh, this uh, constructor takes two parameters. First one is the name of the image, the title you want to show under the image, the thumbnail. You can say the title and let's say, uh, let's use again the string interpolation here and the dollar sign in front of the string. And now we can use the variable inside the string and let's use it item index so image one image two image three will be shown in this list and for to pick the images from image list we need the index so it should be start from zero so i am doing minus one that's why so let's run it for once okay nice and easy so we have the uh, list view with images list loaded in the form so next thing what we want is as soon as we select any image from this list view it should be shown in the uh, picture box here and should be changeable and selectable so let's do it So to uh, select the uh, item and show in the picture box, we need the event for this list view item. So let's see what events it provides us. So it has item check, item selection change, right? I guess we can use this event, item selection change so if i double click on this it will create an event for us and let me add a debugger and start debugging it and if i click this one you can see i have the selected item from that list view so let's give it the selected index is and let's get the first item because we are not doing multi selection here and let's also uh, fetch the image uh, on the basis of this index from the loaded images dot um, find find index dot get no dot select okay right so we just need to give it the selected index and it will give us the image that image is equal to this way and what we will show selected image dot um, 
so what name we have given this picture box if we can see its name is selected image right okay so image dot um, image should be selected image right okay let's give it a try okay what it is saying that value is not a valid index okay mm -hmm. let's debug this code for once and let's see what is going wrong if you can see the selected index is zero that is quite right and it should be shown the image and if i click the second one and now what it is saying that okay so what we need to do is we need to make a check on the top here if dot count is greater than zero then to move forward and do the work for us let me remove the content code from here okay nice and easy so now you have a beautiful gallery to be used and it's totally uh, developed by you in c sharp using windows form so uh, that is it for this uh, small gallery project and i will see if there is any improvement and i will do that in the second part so till then have a good day enjoy coding i will push this code to the tech and talk solution so that you can uh, clone and reuse it in your own way so bye bye